Time now, 547. As you head out the door this morning, you'll notice the cooler temperatures. But that's not all we're talking about this morning. Oh, that's right. We've got more interesting weather to talk about in the Gulf as well. Thomas Geboy and John Nodar with us. All right, and let's uh, start there with uh, what's going on. We've had uh, new runs of models recently. Mm -hmm. They uh, vary a bit. Yeah. But the reason is because we don't really have a center to work with yet. No, and models are going to be playing a guessing game until we actually get that center of circulation. But this is likely going to become either a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a subtropical storm, which mm -hmm. means it might take on fronts and have characteristics that aren't exclusively tropical. Right, it's a hybrid, and, yeah. and I, lean, I lean to that uh, eventuality, and I'll show you why here. It's mainly because of the front that came through, a really strong cold front that came through our neighborhood last night. It stalled out in the Gulf, and this thing's going to have to tangle with that, and I think you're going to end up with a <laughs> subtropical system. Yeah, you got a lot going on, so not only do you have this front, but you also have an upper area of low pressure over Texas, so this is going to be fighting a rough environment, but what it shows is by tomorrow afternoon, we could start to see some of that moisture working its way into parts of the News 5 neighborhood. Meanwhile, the bulk of the low pressure is still to the south. Right, and uh, if you're noticing uh, those, those swirling winds there, uh, we've got them set to really low so you can see exactly where any center would be uh, according to this model. Now, the Euro takes it pretty close to uh, our neighborhood. In fact, uh, probably around Destin or thereabouts. Yeah, so what it's showing here is that Majority of the stronger weather or the showers and thunderstorms are going to be on the eastern side. And if the European model were to be correct, again, it doesn't have that center of circulation just yet. This will show most of the News 5 area, especially into Saturday morning with the north wind and dry conditions. Meanwhile, Destin, you're getting rough surf and a decent right. amount of rain. But as quickly as it moves in, it moves right back out. Right. The, both of these models, the GFS, which is the American version, and we are looking at all the other ones. For weather nerds, we're looking at the WERF and the Canadians and the HMOD and the NABJAM and all that stuff. But we're going with these two stalwarts here. Uh, the GFS goes much farther to the south and to the east. But th these two models have been coming more and more in agreement, but what the uh, GFS shows is not really much of a close center of circulation, which would be more of that subtropical characteristics. But even by tomorrow afternoon, just like the European, moisture begins to work its way back in, rain chances will begin to increase. And as we go from tomorrow afternoon into Saturday morning, it's showing it moving inland, possibly east of Destin, closer to Panama city closer to Apalachicola. Right. Now remember, we, when we talk about this, we are going to be talking about uh, more likely a subtropical system, which is going to be very broad. The center is not going to be as noticeable as like with a hurricane or a tropical storm where you have a well-defined center that is surrounded by, a, a, you know, like a ring of clouds and rain. This would be more broad and diffused and messy. For sure, and but there would still be the chance for the rough surf, the chance for some possible coastal flooding, and on the eastern side of this, there might also be the chance for some severe weather, so a lot of factors to take into consideration. You bet, and right now, that's the only action in the tropics, the only thing we're really uh, focused on. There are no other areas of concern right now. So let's pick up here and talk about what the Hurricane Center is saying, 70% chance within the next five days, but really, I think this could happen as early as today. This becomes a tropical or subtropical system. The uh, steering winds are out there, and they're right now light, but you look up here, these uh, brighter colors indicate wind shear, and I'm always telling you that the tropical systems don't like wind shear in the upper atmosphere, and we're going to see tons of it, at least today and probably into tomorrow as well. So that would limit the development, and then we'll move forward into Saturday, and you see a bit less in the way of shear, but by Saturday, the system is whatever it is, is moving off to the east. So development is likely wind shear, going to be a, a limiting factor. Also, the fact that it is a fast mover, so uh, it probably won't get too strong, but it will bring rain Friday light into Saturday. Uh, the uh, spaghetti models, I promised you, so let's take a look at those. And everything shows a center to the east. Remember, though, these subtropical systems tend to be even broader than tropical storms and depression. They, they tend to cover a big area, so we would be affected at least by the rain and probably by high surf as well. It's a beautiful morning at Pensacola International Airport. There's no rain in sight, 0% chance of needing a green and Phillips umbrella. Temperatures 40s in 
Grove Hill, low 50s, lots of places, mid 50s, Mobile, some 60s along the coast, warming to only the 70s along the coast and 60s inland. So an absolutely gorgeous fall day along the Gulf Coast. Throw in partly cloudy skies, a little north breeze, and low humidity, and you just get the whole package today. Tomorrow we get some rain likely out of that system. It's uh, going to reach its peak uh, Friday night into Saturday, more than likely, with a high rain chance. But as we told you, it moves quickly. It's out of here Sunday. Monday brings a new cold front to our area. News 5 traffic is brought.